Okay, so this is uh, Jason and Adrian at the Centre for Computing History, and we've got a, uh, a new toy to show you. Um, it's the Racing 112. Uh, Adrian, tell us about it. It's the third in the series of consoles that Nintendo did before the Famicom. It's from 1978, and as you can see, it is a racing game. Cool. It's a very big racing game. It's the largest console Nintendo have ever made to this day. Right. 43 centimetres by 15. You actually know the size? I actually Have know the size. you just read this up? Yeah. Or do you know it? <laughs> I know it. <sighs> yeah. That's the kind of people we have here at the Centre for Computing History. <laughs> um, so, okay, come on then, let's have a go then. Let's, uh, let's see it in action. Okay, so if you're playing it in one player mode, you use this rather wonderful steering wheel here, and we, off we go. Click the gear shift down. We go into fast mode here and it is just literally a case of using your reactions to dodge all these cars coming down the screen at you. That is particularly fast. And uh, this is very, very easy mode, this one. <laughs> so there are, what's well, called the Racing 112, there are 112 possibilities of playing this or variations of playing this game. 112? There is 112. What, from all the combinations of those switches? Of the switches, on the yeah. Side? Yeah. Okay. So, as I say, I picked a very Ooh. easy mode here. That was a bit <laughs> rubbish. So this is a standard mode? So this is a standard mode. So this is one of, one, one of two one-player modes. The second mode is basically, if we start the game again, I will now be racing up a road half as wide. All right. So it's only on the left-hand side of the screen. So it's on the left-hand side of the screen. Mm -hmm. Makes it a lot trickier. And uh, did very well, well there. You lost. I did. Nice one. Yes. Now, where if you want two players, you can click it into two-player mode here. But now, we have to use paddle controllers. Okay, let's do so, this. So off we go. It would be a bit unfair if one person was allowed to use the steering wheel because yeah. the uh, paddles are an awful lot more rigid and hard to use. Oh. Oh, come on. <laughs> Once again, we're playing this in a very easy format. So It's probably worth saying that this is a Japanese console right it's japanese only that's and why it's not tuned ever. in so well and it doesn't have nintendo's name on it anywhere no on the actual console because it was made in collaboration with mitsubishi and uh it was only the next console in the series the block breaker console that had, was the first machine that ever had nintendo's name on it mm. so the first three in the series did not because they were given away to employees of Mitsubishi. Cool. Okay, so that is the two-player mode. Mm -hmm. Now you can also, there's another switch up here, so you can actually alter the speed of the game. So. What, faster? Yeah, you can make it faster. So, like that wasn't fast enough? So that is, this is the slow mode. Right. So the gear stick actually doesn't do anything. You click it into the second mode the gear stick does speed it up a bit. And then you've got the fast mode. Yeah, all right. That's cool. And now we can go into a little bit of the other modes. So it's got these four buttons at the bottom here, so we can actually add other gameplay elements. So first one we can do, we can add cars that swerve right. and try and hit you, which is relatively easy in this mode, although I've still made a right cock up of that. The second switch gives you barriers, so if it's switched off, I can touch the barriers, nothing happens. If mm -hmm. I turn the switch on, if I turn the switch on, I will then right. crash into the barriers. Yeah. The third switch, it's quite fun, 
adds a rough road. So there's, the road will go brown and then the little car judders and it's actually a little bit harder to, to control. Okay. That's pretty cool. And then the full switch is there to add more cars. So I will now have got two cars coming down at me instead of one. And then if you do all four switches up, the game just gets explodes. Oh. A little bit silly to start it again. <laughs> Not on impossible. In fact, if we turn the speed down, it should make it a little bit a little bit easier. <laughs> speed it up a little bit. God, it sounds a bit annoying. And sounds gets a little <laughs> bit annoying. Mind you, you're crashing a lot. I'm so. crashing a lot. I can crash an awful lot more if I put <laughs> it into the hardest mode, which is then to put the... I <laughs> <laughs> said a chance. So I've not worked out. There is supposed to be a pattern to these cars, but I haven't really not worked out what it is yet. Oh, right. So you can learn this. Yeah, so there you is can. A... Oh, wow. But um, they just seem to <laughs> crash into me all the time and kill me off. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, you got past one. Well done. I got past one. Oh, <laughs> goodness sake. This could go on a while if we're supposed to reach 50. Let's try. Let's cool. Oh, that's it. Game over. <laughs> nice one. So that is the Racing 112 from Nintendo. And uh, it is actually supposed to be the first thing at, Nin at Nintendo that Shigeru Miyamoto worked on. All it's right. supposed to have had some input on the design of the buttons and some of the decals. Okay, so sort of graphic design side. Yeah. 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 Very cool. And if you wanted to get hold of one of these now, they've become really quite rare and quite expensive. Um, an unboxed one, a couple of hundred quid, a boxed one, possibly double that. Mm -hmm. Wow. And uh, none of the pre Famicom consoles are particularly cheap, and they're also ridiculously difficult to tune into a British TV as well, because mm. they're NTSC J, J yeah. RF. We've been quite lucky to find a monitor that will output to this, but... But even then, it's, you can see it's sort of smearing at the size, ghosting a little bit. Um, it, but not bad, playable. playable. It's playable, yeah. and got the lovely noises as well. Yeah. So that's it, that is the Racing 112. Good stuff, thank you very much.